Welcome to this course on transition metal organometallics in catalysis and biology. In this course, we have been exploring the depth and the breadth of organometallic metal chemistry, particularly with regard to the applications of organometallic compounds uh, in large scale industrial processes. In this uh, context, we have uh, looked into uh, various types of organometallic uh, reactions which have uh, been practiced in, industri uh, in the large industrial scales and to start with we, look, we have looked at uh, rapey chemistry uh, 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 which is uh, the conversion of uh, C2 feedstock or acetylene to other functionalized uh, forms. So, after rapey we had been uh, looking into another uh, very uh, interesting reactions which is uh, olefin metathesis. Uh, we have looked at olefin metathesis uh, for followed by alkyne metathesis and now uh, uh, we have been discussing about cross metathesis reaction uh, which was taken up in the previous lecture. Now cross metathesis reaction as we have been uh, uh, discussing is uh, been developed or has been developed in conjunction with uh, uh, industrial process particularly shop or which is better known as shell higher olefin process. Uh, and which was uh, mainly used uh, uh, to uh, utilize uh, unwanted uh, uh, feedstock uh, from uh, this uh, 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 shop alpha uh, olefin oligomerization process. Uh, so, let me just uh, illustrate this. or shell higher olefin uh, process uh, 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 would convert ethylene to alpha olefin. Uh, using uh, nickel catalyst. Now, uh, uh, these alpha olefins uh, was a primary source uh, which was uh, uh, from ethylene feedstock and uh, this was used uh, uh, or had uh, use for uh, uh, making uh, had requirement for making soft detergents uh, which has long chain fatty alcohols. Linear uh, fatty alcohols. Uh, so, uh, prior to this, uh, uh, prior to these uh, 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 alpha olefins, uh, they were accessed through cracking as well as uh, hydroformylation of uh, alpha olefins and they were synthesized from other uh, methods and uh, shop uh, provided a easier and convenient uh, access to this alpha olefin uh, other than the prevalent method of cracking a or uh, from uh, alkyl halide sources uh, uh, that gives alpha olefin and then the hydroformylation acts uh, to this. So, this was a better method uh, to get alpha olefin, but the only problem uh, which arose was that it was uh, churning out alpha olefins of various fragments from uh, uh, C4 a, a, a or to C12. Uh, uh, to C18, uh, to C22 and so on forth. So, a large uh, range of uh, uh, oligomers were obtained and this was best represented by uh, this Sulz flurry distribution. C12, C18 and the distribution was uh, uh, something of the type 
uh, this. The, now, as for the requirement uh, for detergent was uh, uh, in this region, which are uh, about 40 to 50 percent and uh, they were for making deter detergent range. So, cross metathesis uh, was then success uh, cross metathesis actually cross metathesis followed by isomerization another reaction. Uh, uh, so, cross metathesis as well as isomerization was uh, used. Uh, used to convert uh, the unwanted uh, uh, lower fragment and the unwanted higher fragment uh, to make something of uh, uh, within the range of C12 to C18 uh, for uh, uh, the uh, uh, use uh, in detail soft detergent applications. So, this is where uh, the cross metathesis reaction uh, 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 came into be being in the sense came into uh, being applicable for uh, using uh, the distribution of alpha olefin which otherwise at that point of time uh, was uh, uh, not usable uh, uh, for any commercial purpose. Uh, so, uh, you know this uh, was an interesting development uh, which uh, uh, was uh, practiced uh, in a large industrial scale uh, way back uh, from 1977 in the shop uh, uh, plant uh, uh, and uh, this shows uh, how uh, oh, this cross metathesis reaction was uh, employed in large scale uh, for uh, commercial uh, uh, pur uh, purpose. So, uh, I am going to illustrate this. Uh, cross metathesis has been used used with shell higher olefin process in industry since 1977 and this uh, uh, is given nicely by this reaction which is a C4 fragment plus C10 H21. This is C22 fragment in presence of molybdenum trioxide, it is molybdenum oxide catalyst and L2O3 giving two of these C13 fragment and uh, this was actually both E and Z mixtures were obtained and uh, as mentioned that uh, uh, the process actually involved the industrial process involved uh, indeed a three a process combination of of oligomerization uh, 
isomerization and metathesis uh, reactions. Now, these uh, uh, three processes uh, had uh, been discussed uh, in details uh, in our previous lecture and uh, uh, the reference uh, for this is by an uh, article by William Kaim. Wilhelm Kaim in Angukem International Edition. Two thousand thirteen fifty two one two four nine two two one two four nine six. The catalyst was MO O three L two O three. 3 A for cross metathesis reaction. And then uh, as we had uh, observed that metal carbene species uh, are usually involved uh, uh, in metathesis reaction, then the question which comes to mind that uh, how, how does uh, uh, a metal oxide in terms of uh, molybdenum oxide uh, carry out cross metathesis. So, uh, there is a, a um, uh, interesting uh, um, uh, fa a question in the sense that uh, 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 for the cross metathesis large scale reaction uh, the, cat uh, the pre catalyst the, uh, was originally used was molybdenum uh, trioxide and uh, what uh, uh, it turns out that the active catalyst is species of molybdenum carbene is generated uh, uh, through the following reaction as is shown below. The active molybdenum carbene species is generated at the catalyst surface as is depicted below. And uh, this is shown by the equation given here. This is molybdenum oxide reaction with olefin giving the molybdenum carbene species as is shown here with a bound ketone and uh, this is the active species and this is the pre catalyst. So, what is seen over here is that the pre, -cat pre catalyst of molybdenum oxo reacts with an olefin to generate uh, the active species along with a, a, a metal carbene 
a, a metal kit uh, along with the ketone and this active metal ca molybdenum carbon species then carry out Mm, uh, uh, then it carried out uh, uh, this uh, cross metathesis reaction. And uh, this cross metathesis reaction had been uh, 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 developed uh, with the intent uh, 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 to use the higher and the lower uh, uh, alpha olefin oligomers uh, to produce mid range alpha olefin oligomers uh, uh, which uh, could be converted to detergents like fatty acids or uh, uh, Mm, uh, through or fatty alcohols uh, as, uh, as required uh, through the process of another important industrial uh, scale organometallic uh, uh, reaction and which is hydroformylation. So, what we see is a chain of reactions all of them uh, are uh, um, uh, performed in uh, large industrial scales and they are effortless, effortlessly used for uh, converting one feedstock to another uh, to uh, uh, another uh, to finally uh, what uh, is the uh, um, valued uh, target uh, uh, that is being achieved. So, hydroformylation of shop alpha olefins uh, which is uh, of the uh, range uh, C12 uh, to C18 would give give fatty alcohols for detergent applications. So, uh, one thing uh, uh, to note here is that uh, right now it may seem that something uh, as trivial as application in detergent industry uh, was uh, uh, brought about uh, uh, such a uh, uh, utility of uh, so many different reactions or nice so many different nice organometallic reactions uh, uh, for the large scale production of uh, the feedstock for detergent industry. So, what we see is that uh, the organometallic chemistry uh, can cater to uh, you know, all aspects of societal need uh, be it from detergent uh, to polymers to so on and so forth and all uh, can be uh, brought about uh, by applying by the application of uh, a very intriguing uh, set of organometallic uh, reactions. So, uh, uh, here we see that how cross metathesis along with isomerization, shop and hydroformylation four processes uh, uh, practiced in large scale uh, would finally give a, a, a feedstock for producing uh, detergent uh, 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 for the uh, societal uh, market. Uh, so, uh, with these uh, uh, let me just uh, talk a bit more uh, about the uh, um, advantage and disadvantage of cross metathesis reaction and what it turns out is that uh, 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 the limitation of cross metathesis reaction uh, arises due to uh, the non selectivity in products in terms of uh, uh, not being able to exclusively form uh, one of the product uh, whether that be E or Z. So, one of the limitations of cross metathesis reaction is that the uh, both uh, E and Z A products are formed in a mixture uh, uh, and uh, that gives rise to uh, less selectivity in product formation and hence in more uh, uh, challenges uh, in product uh, isolation. So, uh, this I will illustrate by the equation as is given below. Uh, 
across metathesis has limited applications due to the formation of mixture of products like branching like branching homodimer and easy mixtures. So, this is given by the equation as is shown here. R1, R2 catalyst C2H4. Now, uh, the cross metathesis of these two catalysts can result in so many different products as is uh, shown here. R2, so it can be R1, R2, and that can be easy mixture, and that is uh, given by this uh, wedged bond plus R1, R1. This is a, a homodimer, again, easy mixture. plus R2, R2 easy mixture. So, uh, uh, the main uh, the drawback uh, is what we see that uh, mm, the selectivity is less uh, that uh, all of these uh, come at both easy uh, uh, olefinic mixture. Uh, this is the real cross metathesis product. And so, this is the cross metathesis product. And these are homodimers. So, uh, 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 the selectivity is a key issue for, of uh, cross metathesis reaction. And uh, hence, one of the uh, important uh, challenges is uh, uh, the ways, ways to increase uh, uh, the uh, selectivity of cross metathesis reaction challenges. is to devise ways to increase the selectivity of cross metathesis reaction. And in this uh, 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 regard, important uh, uh, is to mention that Grubbs find a, a way of increasing uh, uh, the um, uh, production of heterodimer uh, uh, while st uh, starting uh, with the uh, with the homodimerization first. Uh, uh, so this is uh, uh, nicely illustrated by the equation over here. Grubbs 
reported increased yield of heterodimer while one of the starting olefin underwent uh, homodimerization. This is best uh, uh, shown by the equation given here. So, R1 Graves catalyst. So, uh, the first uh, step is elimination of ethyl ethylene. R1, R1, uh, this is uh, uh, nothing but uh, homodimer. Now, when this uh, reacted with R2, uh, which also eliminated ethylene then R1 uh, which is a heterodimer. So, uh, graphs uh, the point to note here is that in that in this sequential uh, two step process of introducing the olefin sequentially Grubbs uh, reported increased yield of this uh, uh, heterodimer. So, uh, this is one way of uh, uh, improving uh, the selectivity of uh, 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 selectivity of this uh, uh, the cross metathesis reaction. Uh, uh, then, uh, uh, the other way of increasing the selectivity of cross metathesis reaction is partially by carrying out the reaction uh, um, uh, uh, through uh, immobilizing by immobilizing one of the coupling par par uh, partner. This is best uh, um, uh, given by this sentence, uh, the selectivity of cross metathesis can be improved by immobilizing one of the, the coupling partners, coupling olefin uh, with a polymer so that the cross metathesis product remain there and the soluble Homo dimer metathesis product is separated out. 
So, the, the other way of increasing the selectivity of cross merathesis product is by immobilizing one of the olefin, so that the cross merathesis product remain uh, in the polymer and the soluble homodimer uh, product is separated out. Uh, so, with these uh, uh, I come to the conclusion of today's lecture. In this lecture we had uh, looked into the application aspects uh, of a metathesis reaction with regard to the shop olefin polymerization process and what we had uh, uh, discussed is the fact that uh, all these large scale uh, uh, industrial reactions have been used for making uh, feedstock for soft uh, detergents or uh, fatty uh, acids and uh, how cross metathesis was developed to utilize the non-usable alpha olefin fragments of low and high uh, molecular weights uh, to produce uh, alpha olefins of uh, medium range molecular weight which could be used for uh, 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 applications as detergent. Uh, we have also uh, looked at the issues uh, which uh, remain uh, which plague cross metathesis reaction and one of the, uh, the main issue is the selectivity issue of selectivity because uh, the metathesis does not uh, uh, distinguish uh, between uh, the two uh, uh, isomers E and Z and both are formed in the mixture uh, for each of the uh, products like cross metathesis products as well as homo uh, uh, dimer homo metathesis products. And uh, then we had also looked at various attempts been made uh, to uh, overcome this uh, lack of selectivity uh, issue and uh, two such methods that we have discussed is one by Professor Grubbs uh, who had uh, uh, reported increased uh, yields of cross metathesis product uh, by uh, allowing uh, homo metathesis. Uh, of the first olefin uh, followed by uh, the uh, uh, introduction of the second uh, 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 olefin to give the larger uh, uh, amount of the cross metathesis products. We have also uh, looked at another strategy that employs uh, immobilizing one of the coupling partners on a, pol on a polymer. So, the cross metathesis products uh, stay, uh, in, uh, stay on the polymer surface whereas, the homo uh, soluble homo dimer metathesis products are separated out. So, with this uh, uh, we come to uh, conclusion of today's lecture. We are going to be talking more on the aspects of cross metathesis as well as some other uh, olefin metathesis reaction particularly the admit reaction when we uh, take up uh, uh, our discussion uh, in the next class. Till then goodbye and thank you. Mm -hmm.